Hi guys, in this video I'm going to share a few tips that I think may help in trying to get closer to a 90 degree cut when using this machine. In this video, I cut into these two books um, to try to demonstrate some of those tips and I also discovered a way to improve the technique that I was using before to try to get closer to that 90 degree angle. Do I believe that you can get a perfectly straight cut with this machine? Honestly, not perfectly at a 90 degree cut but I do believe that you can get really close to it and if anything you know probably take like the sink if you're using it for more professional uh, in a more professional sense because I use more, mine for personal use if you're using it for professional uses then maybe you may have to take smaller portions of your book or pages and put it in a smaller on a smaller cutter and just cut off whatever edges may be left that's just a suggestion but as I said for what I do this is absolutely perfect and the cuts are good enough for what I use it for now as you can see these are some examples of some cuts that I had done before and this is probably one of the worst that I did I was rushing and it came out like this um, one of my recent subscribers, she described hers as being at 100 degree as opposed to 90 degree. So I guess if I look at it like that, mine is about at a 95 degree angle as opposed to a 90 degree angle. But these are pretty, you know, pretty okay. I have found that the smaller the book is, um, the closer to that 90 degree angle I can get as opposed to the bigger books. However, I've discovered two things that... I want to share with you guys that I think is going to really help you to improve your cuts. But before I do that, I just want to say that I also checked the machine itself as best as possible just to see if it is the machine is straight. I took a triangle and I butted it up against the this fence and the back of the fence just to see if I was getting a 90 degree angle. And I also um, cut into a sheet of paper and measured the the angle that the blade was cutting off that that edge of that paper to see if I was if it was cutting it off at a straight or a 90 degree angle when I put it on my crafting mat assuming that the crafting mat lines are perfect um, if I was looking at the crafting mat lines and assuming that they are perfect I would say it comes really really close probably at the bottom edge it looks like it might be like a half a millimeter off but of course that imperfection could also be human error so as i said i don't know if a hundred percent perfection is attainable but it comes pretty pretty close the smaller the book is or the smaller the stack of papers the closer um you can come to getting a straighter cut now what i used to do before i would line my book up make sure my spine is in line with the blade so that i'm actually going to be cutting off the spine then I'll push this fence up, tighten it as much as possible. Then with my handlebar securely up, I would take my fingers and push the spine up against this fence. And I would just, I just used to look at it and make sure that the pages are touching. It was like this on the bed. So I was pushing it up like this, just trying to make sure that the paper was touching here. However, a better way to implement that would actually be to look at it from the spine side where it is you know under this fence and that's because the fence itself actually naturally wants to push this the book this way or it wants to pull the spine this way and the bigger the book is the more likely that is it wants to pull the spine this way so if you just push the spine in this direction then that is going to straighten it up and because you're cutting off this from the spine direction it's better to look at it from this side as opposed to just trying to make sure that the paper is touching you know this fence so it's basically the same thing as just looking at it from the spines perspective as opposed to the pages perspective and doing that a couple of times before actually taping this video I found that I have I got some you know some pretty decent results however with the smaller books it seems to be a little bit of the opposite where instead of you focusing on pushing the bottom of the spine inwards when you crank the fence down you may need to put a little bit of pressure and push the book 
towards the blade but still looking at the spine and seeing if you're getting that straight you know that straight look right yeah. now as i said i don't know if that's going to give you a perfect 90 degree cut but implementing that with a few cuts today it really did improve how straight the cut was all right so i'm actually going to try and cut the bigger book first so i already lined my book up now if i depending on the book and how the size of it i like to use these longer lines to line this side of my fence up with but with this book i couldn't do that and assure that i was actually going to be cutting the spine off enough or you know risk cutting off too much so i just have to use some of the, the smaller lines on top here and here anyway so i lined up my book where the the spine is in line of the blade and this is touching up here and it's tightened as much as I can tighten it. And this is why I say that I don't know if perfection is attainable because this is a smooth surface. The bottom of this is smooth. There is no grooves in this machine for this to get caught in. So I believe that because there is pressure involved when you're cutting into the book, there is going to be some tiny amounts of shifting with this book. So when you add that shifting and, you know, if there's any imperfection in the machine itself, you know, where the lines are and where the blade is actually cutting into the stick, you know, there's a certain level of imperfection that would have to be, you know, I guess you'd have to be okay with, so to speak. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is tighten my fence. And I don't have much to go since this book is so huge already. Make sure my book is pushed all the way back. Now, from this side, I'm looking at my, my spine. And I can see that the top of the spine seems to be a little bit more in. So I'm just going to take my fingers. And as best as possible, of course, my blade is securely up. I'm going to put some pressure at the bottom. Oh, don't cut your finger. Put the, some pressure at the bottom of the book. Now, of course, as I said, because that plastic fence here can move, you don't want to put too much pressure to encourage it to shift just enough to straighten the spine up a little bit more. All right, and I can see that that looks pretty good. I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more. We're really hoping for as straight as possible of a cut on this big book. This is a very big book to cut into. It's taking a lot of effort. And I probably will not do this very often on my machine. It made it. So I'm not sure what you think, but to me, that is actually pretty impressive. Now, first thing I notice is that the angle that it's off, even though it's it's measuring about five degrees on both of them, this it's so much sharper that it is so much more noticeable on this book as opposed to this bigger book, right? But um, I'm actually really impressed with that results. So now this is about half the size of this book. And if I was able to get this cut on this big book, I feel pretty confident that that is a, a pretty strong, you know, um, technique to be able to put in place to try to improve the angle of your cuts. Now, that's that's my opinion. I am actually really impressed with that. Now, I would say, you know, I found my, sh my machine was struggling a bit. <laughs> Um, not the knife. I wouldn't say the knife, or was it the machine? Was it my? Was it me that was struggling? <laughs> that was um. That was a lot of pressure that was required to cut into that big book. But the point is, is that it worked. And uh, let's see if we were able to cut through all of our pages by fanning through. Isn't that just beautiful? That is, imp I'm, I'm really impressed with that. I'm really impressed with that. Did it give me a, a like a 90 degree cut? No. Was that impressive? 
absolutely <laughs> but anyway um i'm going to cut into the smaller book now so with the smaller book i'm probably just going to speed through a lot of it since we already know what we are trying to achieve All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask them below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you in another one. Bye.